said that the most common symptoms are painful periods uh, and the pain just starts just before the periods and once the periods start it starts to ease out and when the periods finish it completely goes away um periods are sometimes heavy sometimes uh, so painful heavy periods is the most uh, significant and common symptom uh, the other symptom could be if there is endometriotic deposits deep within the pelvis patient could have uh, deep pain deep pain during the intercourse as well so intercourse could be uh, progressively painful and uh, sometimes if it involves the peritoneum and the disease is uh, it involves the bowel and there are scar tissue between the bowel and uterus patient could have some changes in the bowel habits as well leading to diarrhea sometimes or constipation sickness because of this involvement of peritoneum and bowel um obviously bloatedness sometimes as well due to scar tissue and because of change in the bowel movements um obviously because it it causes scar tissue within the pelvis uh, it could potentially affect the ovarian function and tubal function which could lead to uh, difficulty in conceiving if uh, if female is trying to conceive um because it's a progressive disease so it can lead to scarring every month which can eventually lead to long term chronic pain and we call it chronic pelvic pain um patient can have uh, mental health problems because of continuous uh, burden of the disease every month which is progressively increasing uh, fatigue and uh, lower tummy pain um so depending on the number of deposits the severity of the disease and the organ involved the symptoms could be slightly variable but these are the common symptoms